With the return of Captain Jack Harkness and Gwen Cooper to Series 11 of Doctor Who, it gave me an idea to do a video about my three favorite returning characters from the Russell T. Davis era, because that's what Jack and Gwen were originally. Uh, but there's a twist to this video. They cannot be villains, they cannot be companions. Hold tight. The first character I want to talk about is uh, Jackie Tyler. I absolutely really like Jackie. She's awesome. I really do like Jackie Tyler. I think she's a very, very modern mom. Um, she had a lot to deal with, with, with um, her husband dying when Rose was a baby. And the doctor coming and basically just whisking her away to see the universe. And Jackie's left alone. I thought that Camille Couture played a very good part. And I know some people think, oh, she's too soap opera or she's too sort of EastEnders for Doctor Who. But I think that's what Russell T. Davis was going for. To sort of modernize the show because if it was still the same format as it was where, you know, the, the, per, the girl or boy gets whisked off and, and you know... What? How are their families feeling? You know, do they even know realize that they've gone? So, yeah, Jackie Tyler to me is a very good character. Um, it made the first four series anyway. Uh, it started off with it with it grounding it to uh, sort of relatabil relatability. So yeah, Jackie Tyler is one of my favorite characters that have been in more than one episode, um, but and aren't companions or villains. Uh, moving on to my second choice, this is Trinity Wells. Yeah, who is Trinity Wells? She is uh, this person here. Uh, she's the news anchor uh, that was in the first four series of Doctor Who. Um, I thought her character was pretty good. Every time that she came on, you know the, the whole world was in danger. It just gave the, the whole show that global feel, I think. And it's just a shame that the Doctor never actually got to meet her. And it's a shame that she never actually came back after uh, the end of time. Um, we haven't seen her since then. When she got turned into the Master and then back into herself. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I do like Trinity Wells a lot. Uh, like I said, it, gives, it gave the show a whole sort of global um, meaning and a global audience. Um, it, it made the drama more accessible, I think, to have a... And not just British uh, news readers, but American also, and also you you got the um, the Asians as well. Uh, they're news readers. And last but not least, guys, I could not do this video with this channel without mentioning an Ood in this. Ood Sigma, he's a great character. He was obviously in the Planet of the Ood, and um, he came back at the very end of the Waters of Mars, and he was. At the sort of beginning of the end of time and all the way and, and also at the end it was the last face that the tenth doctor has seen so i pretty much had to put ood sigma in here not just because the name friends of ood kind because that's what ood, ood sigma said but it's just i love his character and again he wasn't a villain he wasn't a companion he was just a friend who lived in a different uh, galaxy and i do wish that he would make another return because what is Doctor Who without an Ood? What is this channel without Ood? I mean, come on. So yeah, those are my three uh, favorite uh, character returnings uh, from the Russell T. Davis era that aren't villains and aren't companions. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what, 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 do you agree with me? What, what's your picks for the three? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And if you are new around here and you want to subscribe and get more Doctor Who content, then I would truly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below.